Eric Schmidt was on hand this weekend at a futuristic event. They called it Further Future. Yes, they were sitting around in contraptions like this. They were out in the desert, about 50 miles outside of Las Vegas, Nevada. Yes, out on a Paiute Indian reservation. Now, unofficially, they called this the Burning Man 1%. That's unofficially, because officially, the event is called Further Future. It happened this weekend, like I said, about 50 miles outside of Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, Eric Schmidt was even on hand to tell the young people what his vision of the future looks like. Here we are on the scene at the Paiute Indian Reservation. Way out there, you see it. That's the event. That's the further future event way out there. That's Checkpoint Charlie. If you came in on your red Ferrari, you had to go through Checkpoint Charlie first before you headed out to the event. Only special people could bring their Ferraris. Most other people had to fly into Las Vegas and then they took a bus out there. It was a very controlled atmosphere. Like I said, they called it the Burning Man 1%. Uh, maybe this, you know, the San Francisco elite showed up. I also hear that uh, companies like Facebook, Google, and Twitter, I heard they was working with a skeleton crew this weekend because pretty much all the employees were out here. There was only one thing. Don't bring any cash because this was a cashless event. You see, they sent you your bracelet in the mail. The bracelet also had an RFID chip in it. You see, like I said, cash was not accepted at this event. You brought your RFID bracelet. You could not take it off because if you took it off, you could not get back in the event. Eric Schmidt told the whole story of how the future looks. The future looks really, really cool to guys like him who have $9 billion in the bank. But I did notice one thing. I did not notice Eric Schmidt wearing one of these RFID bracelets. It made me go, hmm, that's strange. <laughs>